And when you say they, they play it out here all the time. They play the clips out here all the time. I, are you referring to other people taking Richie's words, cutting them and mixing them around? Or are you referring to Richie's original video gate? Because, you know, I could take a partial sentence and it could be, I could cut it up and make it be misconstrued into anything I wanted to believe. Listen, they could have eliminated the entire the entire recording, I'm not saying it's 100% content, but what matters is the juice of the conversation, the meat of the conversation. So you're denying that you never said that you lo you got caught in your bed sleeping with two big black men, but it was you were undercover, you were deep undercover, or I should say under the blankets. And uh, this is all false. Am I to believe this, Richard? No one's that good to cut up audio files and and play it on the air where you outright admit that you were sleeping with two big black men and your mother walked in on you and she goes, oh boy, I thought she, she must have thought I was a homosexual. Oh, brother, please, you hurt me now, brother. 
You, you, you know, I got a pain in my heart right now because you're, you're lying to yourself. All right, you're not lying to the enforcer because the enforcer knows the truth. You're lying to yourself, brother. Do you not have an audio clip saying that you used to go to the hangout in the, in the village back in the day and, and chasing down men with their pricks sticking out of their waistband? It's all on audio files, brother, audio tape. You can't, you can't deny when someone has, see, once you put something out there, it's there forever. If someone has it on a digital file, it's there forever. That's why if you're going to put your info out there, it's going to get scrutinized, brother. Remember that. Because once it's out there, you can't take it back. The enforcer said so. Let me have my job. I'll be back. Well, Mr. Michael J. P.M., and yes, I certainly am saying that I never seen those things. So, I guess, Mr. Michael J. P.M., and I'll make you a deal. If you could come up with Which Richie Radio 127 or Donnie Brasco Jr. 05 Video Gates has my mouth saying everything that came out of your mouth the way it just came out, I'll never key up my radio again. Man, that's an offer that can't be refused. He should be jumping on an offer like that. Huh, public? to find out which Richie video gate and date that is from so I can put the label to it and force this big deal. Like I said, Mr. Enforcer, I made you an offer that can't be refused. If you were a true man, you would have taken it. I think what I said was I used to date a girl who used to love to do this just for kicks. And she'd make me laugh all night long pointing out what she wanted me to see. But that's exactly what I'm saying. You know what, Video Gate? Now you're saying you were with your girl that likes to see this. It sound like that to me. It sound like you used to, like, you, you, you personally like to go to the village. Chasing down gay men with their dick busting out of their belly. I didn't hear nothing about your girlfriend or, or whatever you're claiming to say. All I hear is your confession, brother. You're under oath now. Actually, I managed a pizzeria on St. Mark's and 2nd Avenue for about a year and a half. Even lived in the basement of Pizzazz Pizzeria. And the reason why I'm in the back of Desperately Seeking Susan movie, and why all the electricity for that movie came out of my managed pizzeria. But that's another story there, son. Oh, Richie Radio, I can't wait to hear Mr. Enforcer show us where the video gates are in a confession. <laughs> Well, you know what? If, if, if you're walking out of a bank and you 
just robbed it and you just used a, fu an, a, a firearm, you know what? If you got the smoking gun in your hand and they say stop, freeze, put your hands up, you got they got the evidence. They got you cold blooded, busted, brother. And the audio clips I'm hearing right now sounds like your voice. Sounds like you confessing that you used to hang out back in the day chasing gay guys and uh, watching for their, their prick sticking out of their belly. I mean, to me, that sounds like a confession, brother. Come on. Be real, brother. This is coming from you. This is your voice. Did you not say this? Well, you know, I really want to hear the confession you're talking about. But without the date and without the date of that video gate, I can't play it for the public to let them hear what it is you're trying to misconstrue. It's called evidence, brother, in the court of law. All right. When I provide the evidence, the judge looks at it. He gives it to. He don't have to give it to the jury because this is not going to go to a jury. This is evidence that we have right here, right here in front. And when I submit that to the judge, the judge looks at it, and he goes, he hits that fucking mallet, boom! Guilty as charged, Richard 127, you're guilty as charged, brother. What do you have to say for yourself? It sounds like a want for a malicious prosecution with bogus evidence there. The evidence is tainted, and until we can get the date of the video gate, I can't play it for the public. So even though you might say there's partial words or a partial sentence of mine out here somewhere and being uh, played over and over, I'm going to play the whole video for the public, and I'm going to put the title to it, Enforces Evidence. But without you providing the date to that, I'd say that you have a malicious evidence and would want a malicious prosecution because all you got is circumstantial hearsay.